Oh no. Oh no. I think I got something in my eye. What terrible cries of agony I hear from the forest. And yet, I see no one. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I like the pain in cutting myself. A tree that talks? This is truly a mad, mad world. <sighs> All of us trees committed suicide to get away from your conformist, corporate world. Yeah, that's right, bite me. Feels so good. Let's continue on to this stream. Where now? Did I drop acid this morning? This is the eighth circle. People that were fraudulent chill here. Get them! Oh no. Quickly, Dante. There's only one thing that can destroy these demons. The power of dads. Ninth circle is for lovers. I, I, I mean, I mean the treacherous. I guess you must be wondering why I'm nodding on this head. No, not really. I'm more interested in seeing Satan. My sons and I were being hunted for being in the wrong territory. They chased us to a small cabin where I thought they wouldn't find us. How wrong I was. They nailed the door behind us. Hours went by with no food, and finally it hit us. We were going to die unless I ate my sons. So I ate them, and they were delicious. Unfortunately, I died from hunger a few days later, when there was nothing left to eat of their corpses. I was sent here to eternally gnaw on this scrumptious head. This is the Lord of Eternal Damnation. As you can see, he has three heads. Take me away from this land of unholy sights. Thine ears and heart and teats can take no more. Yeah, I got an AA meeting in about 20 minutes anyways. So Dante and Virgil made their way out of the inferno through the super secret underground chamber tunnel. Virgil made it to his AA meeting on time, and Dante found his way through those woods. Unfortunately, on his way out, he was mugged by the sponge and the she-wolf, and had to live in his parents' basement for a while. The end. <laughs> I knew you 